Going into 2018, next 12 to 24 months, uh, I think some of the larger challenges um, will be uh, the obsolescence that's being created by uh, some of this new development. Uh, we own a considerable amount of space in, in, in Montreal and we have to uh, continue to, uh, to redevelop our sites and invest in our sites uh, as new, uh, new developments come on and compete with, for tenants uh, with existing developments. That'll be one of our larger challenges. I think the challenges are uh, our stability is to, to, to assure ourselves that we continue with the trend that's there. Uh, continue with the confidence that's in the market. Uh, investors, and when I refer to investors, I refer to lenders and, and, and investors of all type. So if that trend continues, then it's, the challenge will be to keep that going. The challenge will be uh, to see how people will react to the new construction in the downtown core, how we uh, create more absorption with the new towers and instead of doing what's happened in the past and play musical chairs between the existing buildings and the new buildings, so it's going to be interesting to see how we, uh, how we deal with that. The biggest challenge for investors is to find product. Um, uh, it's very difficult to find good quality product at a reasonable price that's not part of a bidding process. In regards to the leasing market, I think it's becoming easier and easier to find tenants, but I think the biggest challenge is going to be able to adapt the spaces to the needs of the new wave of tenants that are creating the expansion in the Montreal market.